Good morning. If we could rise for the national anthem. outside on a beautiful day like today? I'm a Hi. I have the privilege this morning of formally welcoming everyone to this year's graduation ceremony. On behalf of Hazen Union and our graduating class, I would like to thank all staff, teachers, and administrators, friend, families, friends, and loved ones for coming out this morning to recognize the class of 2022. The members of this class have undoubtedly held a special place in all our lives, and I'm honored to be able to be here to welcome you all today. We're very grateful that you've come. To the class of 2022, I want to take a brief minute to publicly express the joy that it's been to be a part of your high school, your high school experience. When I look out on the crowd of, that have gathered here today, I see so many proud smiles of so many people that you have cared about. And there are certainly good reasons for all those smiles. Your class is an exceptional and genuinely special group of individuals. I want you all to know that when degrees are conferred and you finally move that tassel to the left, Hazen Union will be proud to name each one of you among its long list of graduates. I also want you to know that I'm personally proud of all of you. When I say that you're a particularly special graduating class, I don't just mean special to Hazen. I have been delighted and honored to have been able to work with and alongside you for these last four years. I hope you all know that I'm one of those people who's going to be wearing a proud smile as we celebrate and recognize your accomplishments today. You really are a remarkable class and a wonderful group of people. Congratulations to each one of you. This achievement is absolutely well deserved. So again, to everyone who is gathered here today, thank you all for coming, and I hope you enjoy the ceremony as we celebrate the Hazen Union graduating class of 2022. Good morning. I'm Jason DiGiulio. I have the honor of being the principal here at Hazen Union. So welcome graduates of the class of 2022, families, community members, faculty, staff, friends. Thank you so much for being with us here today. I will deliberately keep my comments short to focus on our student speakers, Carter and Colton, who will be speaking for the class. And I want to leave time for you to enjoy what we all came for, which is to watch them march across the stage and receive their diploma. So I don't have to tell you that it's been an interesting and sometimes challenging few years here. 
During this class's sophomore year, they were sent home to experience distance learning. Their junior year was spent half in and half out of the building. This year, we're back full time, but with constant changes, different kinds of pressures, anxieties, difficulties, and other sorts of challenges. It was a time marked by distancing, a focus on safety, difficulty doing all of the things that we wanted to do. Dances were difficult, serving food was difficult, being in classes was often difficult, even winter carnival had to be put on hold until it could be safe enough to have it. And so this class, never taking no for an answer, made a spring carnival instead. So being the class that never took no for an answer, they didn't get to experience many of the traditions at Hazen that they had heard about or witnessed as middle schoolers and then freshmen. So they got to recreate them, make sure we didn't lose them, and then make them uniquely their own, changing forever the face of Hazen. As I reflect on this long and often changing year and how the class of 2022 handled it, the only honest emotion that I can genuinely say I speak about is gratitude. I'm thankful that in my time at Hazen, I've gotten to know them and seen how they have changed the culture here and made it a, a more profound and more hopeful one. This class has earned its nursing certifications, automotive service excellence credentials, pilot's licenses, they've earned college credits while still in high school, they've participated in fundraisers, they've identified causes, and they've preserved the dignity of their fellow humans through a lot of their giving campaigns and work. And each one of them, whether it be entering the workforce now, uh, earning post-secondary credentials or going off to college to earn different kinds of credentials, every one of them has a plan, and that's unique and special. I'm thankful for this community that's gathered with us today and for the many, many ways they have supported and guided one another, the students and their families and faculty, and then me sometimes too, as we have all fumbled or were other times really fabulous throughout this tumultuous year. And I have to admit a little bit of vulnerability standing here before you to say there were several moments this year when I wasn't sure we could all together hold it together. And I struggled to find hope sometimes when it got really hard. But when I wasn't sure I could do it, I just got to see them in the hallway. And they would ask me a valuable question or make a suggestion about how to do something. Or they would just dream a little. And I saw them brainstorming their way around problems. I saw them be joyful. And I saw them pull together around a classmate that had trouble. And then I knew that no matter what the outside world was doing, we were all going to be just fine and OK. So they reminded me to seek out and find hope, even in small moments. Now, Supreme Court Justice Sonia Santamayor said, you cannot dream of becoming something you do not know about. You have to learn to dream big. Education exposes you to what the world has to offer and the possibilities open to you. This class lives those words. The class of 22 has learned and grown and hoped and dreamed together. So I love, I love who you are becoming, and I wish you all a beautiful summer. I can't wait to have you all come back and visit us and share those amazing things that you carve, create, and manifest next in your lives. Thank you. Um, the first thing I want to do while I'm up here is thank our amazing staff we have at Hazen and um, we couldn't have done this without them and I think they deserve a little bit of a round of applause. <laughs> Time is funny. It is long yet short, plentiful but scarce, and at times the only thing we have. Here we are, standing at the end of our red and blue tiled road. Before us, a great forest which holds all the many unknowns of life. With sweaty palms and nervous anticipation, we wait for the next chapter of our lives to begin. In this moment, it seems impossible to not reflect on, well, everything. All our classes, adventures, and what seemed like an excessive amount of field trips to GMTCC in middle school. I swear, we went there like five times. To put high school simply, I would describe it as messy, uncomfortable, easy, challenging, sweaty, fun, exhausting, mind-numbing, fascinating, useless, essential, awful, and extraordinary thing. I guess the best word for it is complicated. But hey, that's life, right? I think, <clears throat> call me a hopeless romantic, uh, but I'm not so sure. 
In fact, I think life is quite simple. I feel it comes down to this. To live is to breathe, but to be alive is to live passionately. What it means to live passionately varies from person to person. For me, it means to find your passion and pursue it, to go all in, regardless of how realistic it is. I found that having a pursuit of passion, this goal in your head which pushes you towards growth, a dream that you hold so close that you fear to even speak it on the off chance it would float away, increases your quality of life tenfold. To attempt to reach the summit of your vast mountain and reach, the, and reach it the right way because it is only a moment at the peak compared to years of climbing. For my entire life, I wanted to win a state championship in basketball. I wanted it so bad that merely the thought of hearing the final buzzer sound would make me have to choke back tears. This year, my teammates and I made that dream a reality. And at that moment, thank you. And at that moment, after the game had been won and I held the trophy in my hands, I felt lost. For years and years, Hazen basketball was my life, and now it was over. Don't get me wrong, winning the state ship was freaking awesome, and hopefully our a baseball team will be able to do it tomorrow. Yeah. But I would be lying if I said I don't miss my teammates terribly, miss the closeness we all shared throughout the seasons, the practices every day which we all dreaded. I would give up almost anything to be able to share a locker room once again with my brothers. Which is why I feel it is so important to tell you this. Enjoy the pursuit, the terrible hard days, revel in the challenges, soak up the mundane, and take others with you. Share your magnificent dream and look to take as many people along with you on your journey. If you approach life with an attitude that embraces adversity, and know that the difficult and uncomfortable times will be what causes you to elevate to new heights. In that positivity, you will automatically uplift those around you by consequence. However, I, like you, am just a soon-to-be high school graduate with a whole lot of life to live. So I figured I would end with a quote from a man much smarter than me, Theodore Roosevelt. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who's actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows the great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. In closing, I would like to say one last thing about my class. My class doesn't have an abundance of athletes or reformers. It is smaller in size than most, but within its small pool, there are people with vast differences, each incredible in their own right. The greatest strength about our class is how multifaceted we are. Within us, there is an entire spectrum of interest and ability, and I cannot wait to see, what, to see all the wonderful things each of you do. Although after today we shall, go our, we shall go our separate ways, know that with each achievement you have, your classmates and this community will share in that success and feel pride. No matter what happens in our crazy lives, please remember this. It's great to be a Hazen Wildcat. Thank you.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the class of 2022, I would like to thank everyone who came to support us on this proud day. I would also like to thank administration and the custodians for making the school clean and ordered to allow the swift transition back to a normal classroom environment. We made it, seniors. Despite the odds, we got through everything that life threw our way, and we did it with a smile. I haven't had much time to know my fellow classmates, but I have learned that these people sitting in front of me are some of the hardest working individuals that I've had the pleasure of knowing. Uh, they have dreams that are bigger than themselves, and the goal is to make it a reality, and can do anything that they set their minds to. As Marcus Aurelius once said, Accept the things to which fate binds you, and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. It is crucial to live your life full of love and passion, because your heart will lead you right to where you are meant to be. You just have to listen.
Good morning, Wildcats. I am deeply honored today to have been chosen by the senior class as the speaker for their graduation from high school. When you have taught for a quarter of your lifetime, many classes have come and gone, but I have a deep affection for this particular class. What I would like everyone to know about these students who are about to graduate today is that they are incredible human beings. In fact, this class is kind of magical. When they were juniors, they went into the school year with $27 in their prom fund, and somehow 10 months later pulled off the most beautiful prom that I've ever seen in a hayfield, dancing the night away against the backdrop of a Vermont summer sun setting over the July mountains. As the velvet night descended and the stars came out, I thought, wow, they'll never be able to pull off a miracle like that again. Then, this fall, I went from being their prom advisor to being their senior advisor, and it was time to start planning for their senior trip. I think that they had less in their coffers this time around than they did for prom. I told them they'd be lucky if they could afford to go to Connie's kitchen. <laughs> the day before the trip, their provisions consisted of a box of chips and 24 squirt guns. And yet, just a few nights ago, we found ourselves roasting hot dogs and hamburgers and eating the world's best s'mores together at Stillwater State Park as we sat around the campfire, swapping ghost stories and memories of the past six years, from their time in the classroom to planning for prom to cheering in the bleachers and playing on the courts. I think that the senior camping trip was my favorite memory of this class. Thank you guys for saving the last, the best moment for last. The class of 22, 2022 has wrapped around my heart like a rambling rosebush, sometimes being a thorn in my side, but mostly each student becoming their own beautiful blossom. Graduates, my heart is soaring with pride for you today. One of the reasons that you have a special place in my life, besides the fact that you're all just so awesome, is because you are the class that I had when the world suddenly stopped turning. You are the class that I virtually invited into my home for an entire spring when the school shut down and everything changed. You put up with my diapered three-year-old walking across the screen in the middle of your English lesson. And in turn, you introduced me to your pets, your rooms, your backyards, and your barns filled with new baby goats. We were there for each other when, at least in my case, sometimes you were the only human beings other than those I co-taught or lived with that I spoke to for days at a time. You were my lifeline to the outside world. You helped me to stay grounded and remember that everything was going to be okay. I hope that in some small way, I helped you through that time as well. Now here we are two years later, and for the most part, everything is starting to feel normal again. I know there were times when it was hard to stay motivated. It didn't always feel like it made sense to be worrying about something as abstract as school when the whole world seemed like it was on fire. But you persisted, and here you are today, only moments away from a new and well-earned freedom. I think it's safe bet that there is no one on earth who is as excited about the upcoming summer as today's graduates, except for maybe their teachers. <laughs> Seniors, it would have been understandable if the challenge of what you all have been through over the past few years was too much and you didn't have the strength or the stamina to make it to the finish line in the traditional way. But that didn't happen. You stuck with it and you are graduating high school today. There are no words to describe my admiration for the strength that it took you guys to finish the journey. Recently, one of our graduates said to me that in the grand scheme of things, today really isn't that big a deal. Not like college graduation, he said. But I disagree. While it's true, graduates, that you are still so young with most of your major life milestones ahead of you, today marks the culmination of a specific moment in your lives that I think you will find yourself looking back on more often than you realize right now. For some of you, the farther away in time that you drift from today, the rosier these years will become in your memories. For others, not so much. Either way, today marks the last time that you will be gathered here at Hazen in this specific community of people that share a small piece of time and space together for a few precious moments. As I look out at your beautiful faces and take in these Vermont hills and valleys, the soccer fields that you played on, and the brick and mortar of our school, I feel that to commemorate this time in your life is a big thing, and it's worth pausing and acknowledging. I'm not really sure if I have that much profound life wisdom to share with you, what I do know from the few decades that I have on you is that you should take care of your minds and your bodies because some really good things are coming up next. High school was really fun, but when I think back to my favorite moments in life, they've all happened after that. I'm so excited for all that you guys are about to experience, whether it is going to college, which I thought was a really fun time of my life, or going to work, where you have the chance to begin pursuing your new dream jobs, traveling with friends or alone, a world of possibilities lies open to you now. I hope you guys really enjoy your youth and the last wild days of your summer years. 
Do what you love and make them count. Travel widely and lightly before the realities of accumulated material objects and mortgages and children weigh you down. Take time to have fun. Our youth goes by faster than we realize, but in that time, as well as for the rest of your lives, there are so many miracles to see and experience. Some of you are headed off for far horizons after today, foreign countries and universities of higher learning. But to those of you who are planning to stick around the Northeast Kingdom, please know that you are just as critical to our future as those who seek their fame and fortunes elsewhere. The hardworking local business owners, the citizens who sit on select boards, who show up to town meetings to vote and school board meetings to voice their opinions, the parents who are raising the next generation, and the people who stick around and preserve the memories of a town are ultimately the ones that ensure that in 50 or 100 years from now, our communities are still here. So thank you to those of you who are staying, too. I am so proud of you guys. I can't wait to watch you walk across that stage in a few minutes to receive your diplomas. I hope that you all have the various, very happiest of lives. Enjoy them. You only live once, or at least once at a time. So make the very best of your stories. Dream big. Change up your dreams when you're feeling restless. Get ready to meet a thousand different versions of you. Over the last four, four years, you have brought me joy and laughter. You have inspired me, you have challenged me, and you have helped me to grow as a teacher and a person. I hope that the world returns these blessings to you a thousandfold. May you always be the captain of your own ship, beholden to nothing and no one that isn't deserving of you. Wherever you go, whatever you do, let it be because you chose that destination. Be glad and proud of the choices you make. Be thoughtful and always make them for the right reasons. Live the life you love and in the end you will have loved the life you lived. If you haven't realized it yet, please know that I am really quite fond of your class. There will never be another class like this one. I hope that we here at Hazen have had some small positive impact on your life because you have had a gigantic impact on ours. Don't forget us because we will never ever forget you. Farewell, good luck, and thank you from the bottom of my heart for letting me have watched you grow up and been part of your lives. Congratulations once again to the class of 2022. Now wildcats go out in the world and do great things.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I have been given the privilege of awarding an honorary diploma to someone who exemplifies many of the amazing qualities I see in my fellow graduates and Hazen students, and who I know will continue to be a friend to many classes to come. He is hardworking, caring, and thoughtful, much like every one of my peers up here today. When we first began discussing the idea of an honorary diploma, I instantly knew who needed to be the recipient. We first met this individual in 2018 when he visited our eighth grade social studies class. At the time, I couldn't really imagine him as principal, but fast forwarding to the beginning of my freshman year, and there he was, greeting students as they walked in on the first few days of school. Throughout the crazy year of 2020, he brought a hurting community together as we were separated from each other in more ways than one. Some of you may remember his April Fool's Rickroll in the early days of remote learning. While I thought it was silly at the time, looking back I realized how crucial he was to our school in our time of need. This year, he and I coordinated Hazen's ski and ride program. Given he had retired at the end of last year, we had to plan everything over Google Meets and emails. But we made it work and put together a solid program where any student who wanted to go skiing could go, regardless of family income or skill on the mountain. It was during these planning sessions in late 2021 that I really got to know the content of his character. He became one of my role models thanks to his continuously positive outlook on this school and its community, both of which still face many challenges. And I know that as long as he continues to ski and interact with the students here, he will become a role model to many and continue to pass on the characteristics that make him the great guy he is. Even in his days of retirement, he still comes out to support this school. He was frequently found this season in the top rows of the Hazen student section during basketball games, cheering on his former students. So, in a moment, let's turn the cheering towards him and allow me to call to the stage former principal David Perigo to receive an honorary Hazen diploma. touched by this, and um, thank you. Um, this would be a great honor in and of itself, but there's a very special reason that this is meaningful to me. And in order to share that with you, I have to make a personal confession. Um, this is the first high school diploma that I have ever seen with my name on it. And, um, and of course, there's a bit of a story there. But 49 years ago, when I was your age, yes, I was once your age, and young and handsome, as handsome as Axel. I was preparing to graduate from high school. I've had a rocky time in high school. The years had not been easy. And by the time graduation arrived, I had pretty much lost all respect for my school as a meaningful educational experience. And I made a decision that I would regret for much of my life, and that was to not attend my high school graduation and never to receive a high school diploma. Now, though I regretted that decision, that decision was made based on a principle. And it was a principle which has guided much of my life's work. You see, my main beef with my school was that I felt like they had never really seen me. And not just me but all of us kids. And when I talk about seeing, I'm not talking about being known because they knew who I was. <laughs> but I'm talking about kids being seen in a way that kids get a kind of attention that shows them 
that they really matter, that they're important, that they have, each of them, a unique contribution to make that they and only they can make, and that the world will be a much greater place because of them. I hope that each of you have had a very different experience from mine, and that you leave here today feeling that your experience and your school has seen you. Because it's true, each and every one of you is going to make an incredible difference out there in the world. It is a great honor for me to be an honorary member of this class, the class of 2022. I want to let you know that I'm planning on coming to all the parties, so you better send me those texts. And one last thing, uh, I hope that you're not disappointed in me, but I've decided not to go to college next year. I'm planning one of the most fantastic gap years one could ever drum up. And as Carter said earlier, there's a big event tomorrow. I hope we'll see you all there. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. It's my honor now to present the Hazen Union School Principals Award given to a graduating senior that exemplifies the qualities and beliefs that we would hope a Wildcat to be. This year's recipient exemplifies the values of personal responsibility, of respectful interactions, of respect for recruiting of diverse views, hard work, meaningful growth, and working hard to establish a positive and trusting environment at school and in our community so that everyone may grow. I am proud to offer on behalf of Ms. Casey Potter and myself the 2022 Hazen Union School Principals Award to Gabriel Hill. Miss Potter, good to go. All right, now's the time we've all been waiting for. Alistair Fortman, Summa Cum Laude, Concept 2 Scholarship. National Honor Society, Raymond Hussey Memorial Scholarship. Aisha Corey Alfonso Gould, Summa Cum Laude, Student Council Award, Raymond Hussey Memorial Scholarship, Jean Hackett Award. Carter David Hill, Cum Laude, Tink Eastman Award. Yeah. Colton David Kodamash. Yeah. Axel McKenzie, magna cum laude. Sam 
Avery, the Alchemist Opportunity Scholarship Fund. Nicole 
Osher. Oliver Watsula. Riker Emil Willett. Nathan Williams. Anna Renee Wright, cum laude, Catherine Eastman Memorial Fund. Leticia Mead. are also graduating but for a variety of reasons are not with us today. Sebastian Bowers, Curtis Reeves, Mary Jane McKenzie, and Aaron Norman. Ladies, gentlemen, families, and community members, it is my honor to present to you the Hazen Union School graduating class of 2022.